You may have looked at my video, how to center without merging. I'm not wondering whether there's a quick, easy way to find cells in a spreadsheet that will merge using the merge and center feature in Excel. Well, you're in luck. In this video, you will learn how to find and unmerge merge cells in your worksheet. Hi, my name is Jason Matthew and welcome to the Weekend EduTech channel. Today I'm using a Windows machine running Microsoft Excel for Windows version 2208, Microsoft 365 subscription. Please note that what I'm about to show you only works for Excel running on Windows. It does not work on Excel running on Macs, at least up to the time of recording this video. So I'm in the spreadsheet. As you can see, there are some cells that are merged and centered. So in this example, I have a merge and center one, merge and center two, and merge and center three. So you may have a data sheet with a few of them. And yes, you can manually look through the data sheet to find these cells and unmerge them if you like. But a quicker way, if and that is if you have a Windows Excel that is, is that you click Control F. So Control F. And that will bring up the Find and Replace dialog box. And what you're going to be doing is clicking on the Format button. So you click on Format. And then you go to Alignment. Make sure the Alignment tab is selected at the top. And you want to make sure that the box that's next to Merge Cells is selected. So you click on that. So you get that tick there. So that means Merge Cells is selected. And then you're going to click the OK button. So now I'm going to click on Find All. And when I click on Find All, what Excel is going to do is going to find all the merge and center cells that I have in my spreadsheet. So I'm going to click Find All. And what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to increase the size of this box so you can see more. Okay. So it found one, two, three, four. It found four situations in this spreadsheet that had merge cells, which is what we expect. Because there's this one at the top, which is the title. Then there's the this example, merge center one, merge center two, and merge center three. So that's what we have here. So that's excellent. Now let's say I wanted to you know, leave this one for some reason, I could then select these three. As you can see, they are highlighted, so they are selected and I can do whatever I want with them. But for this example, let's say I wanted to unmerge all four of them. I select all four. And then what I do is I go to the top menu and remember where there's that merge and center button. I click on it and now, if I go to any of those cells, they are unmerged. And that's how you remove the merge cells from your spreadsheet. So now you have removed the merge cells formatting. So I could close off the dialog box here. And what you can do is that if you still need to center, is that let's say I wanted to center across this selection here, I can now do Control-1, and that's going to bring up the format cells box. Make sure that, you know, sometimes it might be the default number. Make sure it's the alignment tab at the top is selected. And then you go under horizontal, you click on the drop down menu, and you go center across selection. And then you hit OK. As you can see, it's now centered across these three cells, but the cells are still individualized. So it's still has A10, B10, and C10. So you're good to go. And you could do that for the other cells if you wanted to, to center them once again. So I hope this video was useful for you. Um, if it was, please like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Take care, everyone.